Hey everyone, welcome to Big Geek Channel. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit that subscribe button and do like my video if you really find this video helpful. So this is the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 in my hand and it is a really beautiful phone to hold at and also to look at because of its dimensions, the way they have made and also it weighs a little bit uh, on the heavier side but uh, still I guess uh, uh, that's how you can uh, hold this very nicely and you feel very confident while you hold this it is not uh, so slippery as we would find uh, on other devices and uh, this is available for 10,000 rupees this is a 3 GB RAM 32 GB internal storage version so what I'm going to show you in this video is the first boot of this Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 and what are the steps that you will encounter while you first boot this device so let's go ahead and on the switch on this mobile for the first time here we go so this rocks a Snapdragon 625 set and above that you have the Octocore A53 CPU which is very common in uh, nowadays mobile under uh, 15,000 rupees say. So this uh, also competes with the Huawei Honor 9 Lite which has amazing display and uh, some really nice manual camera features on the 9 Lite. But I think the display what you're getting on that is that they have made a very narrowish sort of uh, which I didn't like. I have also made several videos so please check that on my channel. And what uh, this uh, device has done is yeah, they have given you really wide display so that you can uh, really enjoy that uh, 18 is to 9 aspect ratio wide screen resolution. So this rocks a 1080 by 2160 resolution at 403 pixels per inch density. I think uh, this packs really punch on the display and the quality of the display. So let's go ahead and first uh, boot this mobile. Here you have the MIUI 9 version. I think they have released an update for this as well. Uh, we shall look that once we uh, enter into this uh, home screen. So here's the MIUI 9 lightning fast is what they call. So let's go ahead and tap on this uh, arrow button and here you have to select the language choose whichever language you are convenient with there are uh, plenty of languages over here so for now we will select the english uh, india language and tap on this next button so here you have the region again you have to select the region uh, which is the country so we will uh, go ahead and select india as the country obviously so just uh, tap on it and tap on this next uh, icon here then it will set the region for you as well as time and here you will be uh, choosing the keyboard i prefer the google indic keyboard because uh, simply for the fact that you can select different languages on the keyboard as well as you have uh, that uh, india oriented similes uh, such as the currency icon copyright symbol and such such things so here you can enable this in setting you have to go into the setting and uh, choose google indic keyboard here tap here and uh, say okay now you have to set the permissions so for now we will not uh, let this indic keyboard access my contact then just you swipe over here and you will be asked if you want to send anonymous user statistics for them so we shall not accept that and we will move forward here you have the ready to go and once you have this just tap on the C keyboard feature and choose a theme of your liking uh, we shall set uh, this white itself as the default theme then press done now the Google Indic keyboard has been set up and just tap on this next uh, icon here. Here you have to select the network for internet connection. Say that you ha don't have internet connection, you can just uh, skip this step. But uh, right now I have the Wi-Fi here. So I'll go ahead and connect the Wi-Fi for the first time. So just tap on the Wi-Fi name and give the password. So once you have uh, connected to the internet, what you have to do is to uh, tap on this uh, next button again, the next icon. You have to accept the terms and conditions then just uh, tap on this next icon uh, it is checking for sim card i have uh, not inserted the sim card here so just uh, tap on this next icon again if you have the google account uh, please do sign in uh, right away here itself if you don't have the google uh, uh, account then you can just skip and you can later also sign in to your account so here uh, if you have the me account xiaomi's account you can set up here otherwise you can uh, tap on create an account even if you don't want to do all of this you can just skip and go to the home screen uh, right now i have the account so i'll set up i'll go ahead and enter my phone number as well as password so after you have signed in it will ask for uh, to set up the xiaomi's me cloud so if you want to access the me cloud you can do that you can sync your uh, contacts your uh, gallery images and uh, all sorts of things to the xiaomi's cloud right now i don't have to sync anything because there is nothing in it you can later enable this as well so don't use let's say and uh, here you can uh, choose find device so if you are if you lose this device uh, you can access it remotely and you can lock the device from other mobile so let's uh, just enable it and uh, here uh, we can set up the fingerprint scanner which is uh, really nice works really well on this device is what i've heard so let's go ahead and uh, give a pattern 
now it will uh, warn you that you have to remember the password or the pattern otherwise uh, you will have to reset the device if you completely forget it okay let's say got it and here you can select the pattern you have to select the pattern for two times and then tap on this confirm now as you can see you can add the fingerprint let's just uh, keep uh, tapping on this at various directions so that it, it recognizes my fingerprint properly so once done it will say added successfully and uh, you just have to tap on ok then here additional settings uh, it will ask if the apps uh, want to access the location and can it access so we shall just disable all these things because we don't want any other uh, random apps to access our data and do such things with so let's just enable keep this enabled install automatically so if there is any update available it will uh, it will remind you and it will auto update automatically so just tap on next here you have the selection of uh, theme two themes are pre-installed one is limitless and the other one is default uh, we shall choose the limitless and see what's uh, in it so just uh, tap on this uh, theme and just tap on next now it is applying and getting ready for the home screen so setup is complete and just tap on this now uh, all the apps will be loaded onto your home screen so this is the first boot this is only for the first time you have to set up your device the way you want and once you are done you are ready to rock and roll with your mobile so it just uh, we we'll, shall see how much time it will take to load all the apps on the home screen i think uh, the way they have designed this uh, widened the entire display is really nice this is what i liked about this mobile very much uh, nowadays you get very narrowed uh, display so which i don't like you don't feel like you are holding a proper mobile in your hand so this is really nice but uh, the thing is that this weighs really uh, heavy I would say because uh, even though it is slim but this packs a 4000 milliampere hour battery and that's what making it heavy at 180 grams so here you go here, the find uh, device is here you have to visit the website and uh, give the number and all okay let's just say okay so this is the home screen of the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 you can see this is 1080 by 2160p uh, display which is really gorgeous right now I think the brightness is not set it is at medium let's uh, just increase uh, to give you that uh, really glossy feel so you let's quickly jump to the settings and uh, see as already you can see because i have connected to the internet it has recognized an update system update so mu 9 has got a new update because this is running at android version 7.1.2 i think they have given an oreo update we shall see that after the update but right now this is the 3gb ram at 32 gb rom internal storage version so you have the about phone uh, information over here so this was just a quick video to show you how you can boot the mobile for the first time i hope this was helpful if yes please hit that uh, thumbs up button and do subscribe for more awesome contents i'll be bringing how you can take really good pictures on this mobile using manual mode and other various scene modes uh, we shall see some tips and tricks as well so hopefully you'll be on my channel see you all in the next one take care everyone bye bye